I've already mentioned the concept of types several times in this introduction. Types are very important because C-sharp is what we call a strongly typed language. Everything that you interact with from a C-sharp application has a specific type, and the C-sharp compiler knows what that type is. It's going to allow you to do certain things based on type information. It's also going to throw errors if you try to do something that's not allowed with a specific type. So for example, when I declare a local variable, like this name variable, and I assign it a value, I have to give this variable a type, a specific type. In this case, the type of this variable is string. It can hold a sequence of characters. This allows me to take text that someone typed into the command line, and that came in through the arguments parameter, and assign that into name so that I can use it later inside of this method. I can create another variable and give it a different type. So now I have a, a variable called result, and it's of type integer. It can hold things like integers, so I could say result equals four. I could also say result equals four divided by two, and then we could write that result out to the command line. Let's build this application and run that real quick. Build succeeded. And there you can see we got our two. Four divided by two is two. But what if I tried to do something like take four divided by name? And you might think, well, maybe that's possible. If someone were to type in a three here, then what my program should do is take four and divide it by three. But that's not, not going to happen. In fact, we're not going to be able to build. We're going to get an error. If we look at the output window, then you see that we're getting an error. Compile complete, one error, zero warnings. It wasn't able to build our application. Another window that you might come across quite frequently is the error list window. This will describe all the errors that the c -sharp compiler found inside of your program. So this is very explicit. It says that division operator cannot be applied to operands of type int and string. It doesn't make any sense to try to take a, an integer value like 4 and try to divide it by a string. A string is supposed to hold textual information. If you double click one of the errors inside of the error list, Visual Studio will take you right to the piece of code that is causing that problem. And you can even find many of these problems before you do a build because Visual Studio will put little squiggly lines under problems that it finds as you're typing and if you place the mouse over that, hover over it, you'll get the error message as a pop-up window. You can define your own types using c -sharp. In fact, when we wrote our class program, that was defining a new type. The type's name is program. Everything that you work with from c -sharp, every object that you touch, anything that you assign or declare as a variable is going to have a specific type. There are thousands and thousands of types already built into the .NET framework. We'll see what a few of those are in just a bit. But when you're building your own application, the trick is really what custom types do you want to create and what are they going to represent? You might need a type that represents a customer or a type that represents a product or an account. Those are all going to be types that you define that have their own methods and then you can use them in your C-sharp code. All of the code that you're going to write that's going to execute and do things like write to the database or read XML files, all of that code has to live inside of a type. Typically code is placed inside of a method, like the main method that we wrote earlier. But we'll explore some other things that you can add to a type as we work through this course.